close your eyes Get some rest I'm by your side Ooh, It's early, look, all the lights are on It's kind of dark outside And kind of like it I quite like the darker mornings and darker evenings But hello guys, good morning Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. I've literally just rolled out of bed, cleaned my teeth, washed my face, still got my platin from the night before, but I need to get ready in just a second. We've got a fun full day today, out and about. Um, we're going to the Holly's Farm Shop. Talk to you all about what we're up to in a second. But before I do, I um, wanted to firstly thank today's video sponsor. So HelloFresh, you guys know I love HelloFresh. We had this dinner last night and OMG, it's the first time I've had it. I went for something a bit different. I wouldn't ordinarily order something like this, but I knew last night we would be in a rush and I thought to get in a nice meal that is super quick, one of their quick recipes, um, it, the Korean style beef tacos, amazing. So anyway, if you haven't heard of HelloFresh before, what it is, it's like essentially a meal delivery subscription service, delivered straight to your door. You can pick and choose how many meals you want for how many people. We ordinarily go for three meals a week for two people, but this week we went for three people because we do have Tom's mom coming over tomorrow, I think it is. Um, for a night or two, so we'll be able to have a couple of meals with her. So yeah, I ordered it for three um, on this occasion. And I do also have a discount code for HelloFresh that is not to be missed. If you use the discount code, which I'll leave on screen and in the description box, you can get yourself 60% off your first box, 25% off your next eight boxes. Incredible, right? Um, and also, I will leave a QR code on screen for those of you that are maybe watching from a TV, want to simply click through and get that QR code to take you direct to the website. Otherwise, I'll leave a link in the description box for you below. Not to be missed, we love HelloFresh. The convenience of having your meals sorted each week is honestly just the best. You can go on each week, pick and choose from such a wide variety. Honestly, that is one of my hardest decisions of the week it's trying to decide which recipes to go for from HelloFresh but we've got some real tasty ones this week this one in particular I'm excited for us to try it's definitely one we're gonna have when Tom's mum's here the sweet potato mac and cheese with crispy sage crumb I love mac and cheese and then also this one never had this before onion bhaji fritter burger and chips sounds delightful so essentially the way that the box is delivered it's delivered with all the fresh ingredients they're bagged as well with corresponding numbers to the cards so like number four for instance will relate or correlate to the bag that is numbered four and then on each of the um recipe cards you've got breakdown for how long it's going to take um, you've got all the kind of ingredients this on the side you've got step-by-step -step instructions with imagery so it's honestly so easy even if like me you're not an avid cook you're not a chef in the kitchen and you just like to keep things simple this does this for you breaks it all down it also has all the nutritional information on the side and yeah couldn't rate it enough it's also great for when you're wanting to get back into routines into the swing of things if you're wanting to like meal prep portion control it minimizes waste as well by giving you the exact amounts of everything you need and honestly guys yeah can't recommend it enough. I'm sure most of you have already started and tried HelloFresh before, but for those of you that haven't, make sure to take advantage of that incredible offer. So anyway, I'm gonna make a quick coffee, have a, um, actually have some water. I'm so thirsty, where have my water? Oh, it's over there. Then we'll go get ready for the day. Are you burning? We're gonna have a fun day today. Yeah. Getting ready this morning, I've just used this, well, I've SPF'd already, use this Vita Liberata Beauty Blur. And then just popped a little bit of concealer on under my eyes. Just gonna go for a nice, light, natural makeup. No makeup, makeup. Honestly, my everyday makeup. Today, Tom and I have what we like to call a Sunday Monday, where basically, because we were doing a little bit of work over the weekends, we had the painters in, finish, well, not finishing off, 
definitely not finishing off carrying on with the staircase prep ready to paint they say they i say they it's only one guy but he says he's about a day to two days off starting to paint so the work is all in the prep work and then he said it's about three days worth of painting uh so yeah he's not in today and yes yeah, monday nice fresh start to the week with what we like to call sunday monday so that's what we're doing as soon as they we did a bit of work on the weekends. None of us really, I mean, Tom's got a call now at nine o'clock. And then once he's done with that, we're gonna head over to the Holly's Farm Shop, which I'm so excited to go to because I feel like so many of you have told me that I need to go. It's not too far from me. And um, yeah, we were gonna go yesterday because it was so sunny and lovely, but I just, I've seen the TikToks of the whole Molly May effect of the Holly's farm, the queues out the door, and I just thought, no, I want to be able to vlog, show you guys what it's like there, and I just don't do crowds <laughs> when it's really busy. I'm just like, no, get me out of here. Whereas I want to go and enjoy the experience, so I thought I would take the opportunity, as soon as we have a Sunday Monday today, to head over there today all three of us i don't believe i think there's certain areas that are dog friendly so we might have to take it in turns going in or maybe put barney on tesla dog mode just for 10 minutes or so whilst we pop in and have a look but um yeah so we're going to have a look there and then we're also going to go down the road this place called i think it's reclaimed world or reclamation world something like that where there's a little yard of uh like antique type things so it should be a cute little morning out and then we're gonna get the um get the goods from the farm shop if there's a pumpkin patch nearby we maybe go there but if not just pick up some pumpkins this year from the farm shop and we're gonna do pumpkin soup today i say we tom's gonna cook some pumpkin soup but i'll show you what he gets up to in the kitchen might do some baking or something or see what sweet treats are at the farm shop but that is our plan that is our on our agenda for the day i'm just using a good trusty hula bronzer so uh, that's everything really i have to report and we what was i gonna say oh i'm gonna catch up on what's well, finished getting ready i'm gonna catch up on last night's big brother because i did miss it are you guys watching i feel like Wig, I'm getting into a little bit. When when the first episode came on, I was like, oh, they said they weren't going to do any of the silly games. That it was just going to be more voyeuristic. We're going to just watch it like the good old days of Big Brother, like the original series. But it does seem very like gamey still, like and a bit silly, which are the things that I guess some viewers might like. But I personally, I don't really like the silly games. <clears throat> Then again, having said that, when I'm a celebrity's on, my favourite part of the Bush Tucker Trials, I just think they're like the best thing ever, apart from the eating ones. I can't stand that because I'm a metaphobe, hate sick. I literally either have to turn that episode off or watch through my fingers. But anyway, oh, I'm excited for I'm a Celebrity. When I'm a Celebrity starts, that's when it's like Christmas is here, you know? As much as I love Halloween and love the build up, love autumn. I feel like shops and things really tend to skip it. They tend to, well, not skip it. They seemed quite early this year, actually, but they start bringing out Christmas stuff really early. And I'm like, no, let's just enjoy Halloween and autumn, which is like probably my favorite. I think I prefer it because we've still got all of Christmas to come. Uh, but yeah, we're hosting this year, which I have mentioned before. And I'm really going to try and just not get stressed with it and just enjoy it rather than thinking we've got to have the perfect christmas the perfect setup the perfect amount of food like rather than worry too much and then stress get anxious not enjoy it i'm just going to sit back relax and realize what's most important and that's that we are lucky enough to have our family come to us what are your, your guys christmas plans it's going to be nice for us because we obviously um tom and i we tend to do christmas apart not because we don't love each other just because whilst we haven't got kids and we haven't got those responsibilities and commitments back here tom in terms of family wise for christmas really just it's just him and his mum 
so they tend to just get away and obviously they're always welcome over to our families for Christmas but I think because they've oh, I mean it's not really my place to say his family situation but because it's just the two of them and um, yeah Christmas isn't joyful for everyone so I, I get that and I'm sure a lot of you guys will be able to relate somehow or another whether it's you or your partner who also is not really the biggest Christmas lover but I think this year this switch up will be really nice and Tom can see Barney open his sack of presents because usually it's Barney and I just go to like my parents and we go to family friends for Christmas day which I'm kind of sad about because our family friends love them so much um best host of Esther's best food best day ever so yeah hence why I feel the pressure somewhat to have a good one this year I'm gonna carry on getting otherwise I'll just keep waffling um I'm gonna carry on getting ready and then I'll show you guys what I'm wearing for the day a little farm shop day out and can I just say it's freezing and I'm so happy about it. I love the fact that I can wrap up nice and toasty and warm. I've got a big uh, knit jumper that I can put on. And do you know what? Having said that, when I was looking at my wardrobe today for stuff, I've still got all like summer stuff in there that I could probably, I feel like now we can say that summer weather, any kind of heat waves um, are gone. Um, so I could probably do with at some point maybe today popping away those summer clothes just to free up some extra space for some more autumn wintry bits okay little outfit of the day you can just see that uh paper on the floor behind me because there's a crack up there that's also getting filled um obviously the crack wasn't that big but you he kind of like has to pick it out for it to be refilled but anyway yeah so if you see that on the floor and wonder what that is that's that's what that is but anyway this is what I have decided to wear for today nice and cozy I think it's downstairs but I think I'm going to take my or I could take that crack hoppers coat either that or my barber one depending on how in fact I'm thinking more that one it's got a nice big hood as well nice and cozy anyway the rest of the outfit I've got my uh do you know what actually <laughs> I've just looked like realized everything I'm wearing apart from my leggings which are lululemon is Primark the bag the jumper t-shirt the boots no the t-shirts H&M sorry yeah I had a Primark one on but I switched it because I wanted to just see a pop of white here and a pop of white at the bottom just to kind of balance out so it's not just like all just one dark colour um, and yeah this little bag this little crossbody is perfect for throwing camera phone purse keys dog poo bags that kind of thing and um, yeah but it's definitely cold so I'm definitely gonna need that extra layer and that is looking a uh, very enticing right now let me try it on so you can see what it looks like on with this outfit it's honestly making me realize how were we in 20 odd degree heat at the beginning of the month and we had that little October heat wave. But yeah, this is a very cozy. I like this coat because it's got the zips on the bottom. And I think what I will do as well is just take, because I don't want to have these as dog walking boots, take my Dewberry boots just in case we do find a walk that's a bit muddy. But otherwise, for like farm shop rec reclaimed world, um, yeah, I think this should be absolutely fine. And I feel so cozy. I absolutely love it. Look at this head. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, hot chocolate in hand, pumpkin spice latte, bonfire night watching fireworks. Very cozy. Right, anyway, I'm going to go downstairs, see how Tom's getting on, and then hopefully, before long, get on the road. Someone is very excited to go on a little adventure. And we're going to go shopping for antiques, and then we're going to find a walk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you see my little Halloween decorate? I am a fan of these bats. I just think they might make a nice little um, Halloween addition. And oh my God, I saw, um, oh, excuse you, big yawn. Saw a TikTok last night of, it was um, Kim Kardashian's house tour, Halloween house tour. And I said to Tom, you thought that was a bit too much? <laughs> Guys, if you haven't seen her Halloween house tour, oh. I don't know how you live in a house like that for a month. 
or for a couple of weeks or whatever until Halloween's over. I don't know how you do it. It's like corridors and corridors of cobwebs, red lights, huge spiders hanging from the ceiling and it was just like, <laughs> okay, my few little bats, my 10 bats are pretty, you know, minimal, minimal decoration and of course a cute little baby Barney on a pumpkin patch. I'm so sad we didn't have you as a puppy to take to a pumpkin patch because he was obviously born in November so we didn't get until January. So by the time November came round, you were already fully grown, weren't you? Pretty much. Tom's wellies have been outside all night. So his wellies, if he's wearing them, which I don't know if he is or not, are going to be freezing. <laughs> freezing morning. My hands are cold. Right, let's get on the road, shall we? Should we get you in the car? Should we get you in the car? Look at them pumpkins. I know you've had a really bad day. But I'm right here, it's gonna be okay. The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay. So they've got loads of Emma Bridgewater, but some that I've not seen before. So I've got one like this, Halloween-y one. Um, these like kind of spell, witchy spell ones are cute. But also not seen those ones. Keep it creepy. And I've not seen these and I love this. Cause obviously this is good for Christmas as well. Scott's Pine and that one's cute as well, Sycamore. That's good for like autumn, you know, like a generic autumn where you don't want it to be Halloween. Cute. And then also spotted some Sophie Allport. Food from the fire. That's lovely. This reminds me of like back in Finland when we were in Finland in February. Nice wholesome food, perfect for this time of the year. Anyway, felt pumpkin garland. That is adorable. They've got loads of like gonks, velvet pumpkins. Here he is. The girls with cameras in there. Yeah, this, we've just seen like people with their vlogging cameras out, loads of people taking pictures of themselves here. We thought Monday, well, I thought Monday morning would be quiet. And it is, I think, for the holidays. But yeah, it's very much like a place to be, I feel. I'm getting that vibe. I feel like we should go check out the Christmas barn. I've been lying here for two. I don't know what else to do. We've just come into the food shop, food area. Tempted for this, seeing as though that's where I used to live. But yeah, they've got all of their kind of Christmas treats out already. Some little Halloween cupcakes and cookies. I'm very tempted to just load up a basket, to be completely honest with you. I want to get away from every little thing just to try to make Thinking about my options, every detail in my head. But it doesn't really matter, nothing matters, so I cry instead. We're getting to the Christmas barn. Oh, what? What are they? Do... Oh, right. That's 70% cocoa hot chocolate. What are the flavors that they got? Minty, orange, dark and white. I actually don't like white hot chocolate, you know. Should we get dark one? Yeah. Got the Cartwright one. Just looking at these from Sophie Allport. I really like that design. It kind of reminds me of the um, Emma Bridgewater mugs that I was looking at earlier. The little acorns. Inside we go. The magical Wonderland. Oh, nice cozy socks. Oh God, they've got the music going. <gasps> I feel like I'm warming to it now. I was saying it was too early, but now I'm ready. I'm ready for it. Might have to get some treats for Barney. I say might, we definitely have. I've actually got this, Tom. We can do with baking them. Yeah, we can bake him some fresh, fresh treats when we get home. Oh, they have a bigger 
dog section here. I just can't believe they're not dog friendly. Guys, the Christmas section is huge. We've got some more like red and green traditional ones here. I'm trying to see if I can find for our more nostalgic, cute, mismatched tree, a bauble that maybe says the Holly's Farm Shop on or Cheshire or something. Um, but honestly, guys, it's gorgeous. Oh, look how cozy this blanket is. That'd be good for now, like a nice autumn blanket. Oh, did you ask? Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, so, so pretty. Real woodland theme in here. These toadstools are everywhere this year. I've been staring at the ceiling. I've been staying up all night. Everything I ever worked for vanished in the blink. Give you a little bit of a run around. Hey, go on, you can go play. So Tom's just inside. I've just whacked out the coat because it is cold. So Tom is just getting some food. We're gonna get food to go. And then we're gonna go check out this reclaimed world, I think it's called. But yeah, so whilst we're waiting, because there is a bit of a queue, guys, it's so busy. Well, I say it's so busy, people were talking about it in there saying that this is nothing. And I'm just thinking, thank God we came on a Monday morning because any busier than this, and it's like not a pleasurable experience for me. But it's cute, it is nice. We have got one pumpkin, which, because I think the pumpkin selection here isn't, it's okay but it's like supermarket pumpkins. So I got like a medium sized one. I think it was about two pound 50. And that is what we're gonna use to make the pumpkin soup this afternoon. So I still need to find some pumpkins for the porch. I'm thinking maybe a couple of miniature ghost white ones or one big orange and a couple of white. I'm not sure yet, but we'll maybe have to find them in a different pumpkin patch somewhere else. But. For now, we're just having a stretch of the legs, aren't we, Barney? Barney, come here. Come. Barney, come. <laughs> Whoa. It's like jumped up in the face. Just having a stretch of the legs, aren't we? Oh, and also we're getting a luxury, luxury, luxury hot chocolate to share. I think there's some pumpkin chocolates on there as well, on the little stand that Tom might be getting for us. I think he's going for a chicken burger. I've got sausage roll, maybe the chocolates and the luxury hot chocolates, so we're all good for the afternoon. Seems to be taking quite a while, so I've just been to the car to grab my lunch, which I got, the black pudding and apple sausage roll. Sounds amazing. And then we got Barney some of these cookies. So I thought we could give these to you. These were from the Barking Bakery. So let's see what he thinks of. A little pumpkin biscuit. Oh, you look in them lips. Which one do you want, Barney? Oh my God, he's drooling. We have biscuit number one, pumpkin. Taste, good boy. <laughs> we have biscuit number two, the ghost. We've got biscuit number three, the bat. You taste? Which one do you want? I'm thinking he's gonna want this. This ghost probably. Oh yeah. Is that nice? The drool. <laughs> Look at all the spots of drool on the floor. Lovely. Tom! He's eaten the black icing off the ghost. Where's daddy? He's got a fan over here. Oh, a fan? Yeah. A follower? Yeah. What? Some shit being good. Well, you are anal with food. I'm up for it £9. Tom's not happy with his burger being £9.50 for that. However, me and my luxury hot chocolate with pumpkins and cream, I'm perfectly happy. I showed, I think it was my last vlog, one of these pumpkin marshmallows on my hot chocolate. Um, people are asking where it's from. Just the farm shop. You can get them from farm shops. Why can I not drink hot chocolate without doing that? I can't 
can't believe I've not done this. Oh, Tom's a proper foodie, so he knows not to eat here again. What's the sausage roll like? Mm. Do you want another biscuit? Which one do you want? Take it. The bat. <laughs> then these are our yummy little chocolate selections that we've got. Wow, you've wolfed that down considering you were complaining. It was the size of my finger. <laughs> so you bothered about the size of it, that's what it was. It was actually okay. Oh, it tasted okay, guys. There we go. Anyway, I feel like, have you finished? Oh, you might as well just have them all. It's Halloween after all. That's <laughs> so what they're doing. Saving our heritage for future generations. What? Oh my God. That is literally ours. Black, they're red. They're red. We don't have any anymore. They took it off. No, but what I'm saying is our our, st our things that are on top are all black. So you could get that and make it black. I'm, I'm not that bothered though, are we? <laughs> We're just talking about some, what are they call finials. Some like roof, I don't know, whatever. Tom spotted a barn that he likes. Oh, look at the wood fire pizza oven as well, Tommy. Well, it's actually quite big. It's bigger than I thought. I think there are some indoor places over there as well that you can go into. It is the wrong sort of size and shape, but that kind of rusticness. Yeah. It's only five nine five. That's pretty good for. Okay, because some of these biscuits you can get into the thousands. Yeah, see, that's too perfect. That's way too perfect. No. No, that's. It's not the vision. Not the vision I've got. Oh, it's a doggy pony. <laughs> Even though it's a bit too perfect, they are quite nice, those uh, wine storage. Jupiter Ironworks. And then they've got this one as well, this kind of console cabinetry. That's 695. This mirror is stunning. It's pretty big. Yeah, some good outfits of the days in this mirror. Uh, 895. And then I love these lamps. <gasps> oh, they're on sale. <laughs> Is that a sign? 495. Again, they've got some more rustic cabinetry here. That one's 345. And then I really like the colour of this one. But it's like got an antiqued mirror on. Oh, again in the sale. 395. Let's have a look inside. I just don't know if we have a place for this one. A little linen cupboard. Let me just stand back so you can see how big it is. Again, more rustic vibes, loving all of these. There's quite a lot with this kind of rustic texture of this kind of teal color, like a sort of Tiffany blue. Notice that quite a lot throughout here, quite a lot of blue tones. Oh, these mirrors, look, oh no, they're not mirrors, they're frames. They've got quite a lot of frames as well, chunky, Kind of vintage. I quite like the shape and colour of these ones. Then they've also got like the kind of massive prop style, like artwork and random pieces, like these tables, that little swing. Little bit creepy, but it is Halloween. This, I'm thinking, I'm gonna get Tom's opinion, but maybe a little coffee table in the front room, the black room. Although that's maybe a little bit too greeny there. I wish it was kind of like just neutral. But that is really, really nice. And wrote something for me. Imagine this at Christmas, if you had like a nice huge porch way that you could pop this out or a garden or something even with the reindeer throw. Look how cool this little section is. It's kind of like set out like little shop fronts. Little pub in there, strip show as well apparently. Emporium, little cinema at the end. So yeah, good for I imagine if you were like a prop buyer. Tom's just on the phone, that's why he's waiting over there with the dog. But I just think that would be such a fun job if you were to like just buy props for movies and film work. Don't you think that would just be such a fun job? 
just shopping for stuff like that. This could be for me. The white room. Okay, I am in love with this bench, but also how nice are these doors? They are 695 shutter mirrors, mirror doors. Gorgeous. I also really like this antique French mirror. This one's 345. He kept walking on down the road And I watched him disappear like smoke And I thought I'd just seen a ghost These are nice as well. Seagrass drivers, they are huge. Like, I'm not even kidding. Can you see it in the mirror against me? like really high and um, they are also in the sale 95 pounds for the large ones i'm not sure how much the smaller one is there but also how nice is this sideboard in love i just wish i had a space for something like this but that would be the dream future home because it is huge but so so nice and i love that kind of like whitewash to it but like super distressed gorgeous anyway that is 1895. I feel like this size side board or like console table is far better in terms of being able to fit in our space. 495. Again, that real rustic finish to it with all the added details and like iron work here. Really, really nice. It's actually quite a flat top as well. You know, our French workbench in our basement, I feel like it needs a bit of restoring because it's like the top is very uneven. It's literally just room after room in here, honestly. Oh, cabinetry. I'm seeing this one in the left corner that looks really nice. 695, that one. Little mini butcher's block at 495. We would love in our outdoor kitchen to incorporate some kind of restored old butcher's block, but probably a bit bigger than that. But um, yeah, that's got the detail on it as well. G Rushbrook Smithfield Limited and then this cabinetry again I love as well I actually feel like this one could work in our kitchen this one is 795 although there's not much display on it it's literally just two large shelves with the little drawers underneath whereas I was thinking to have a few more shelves than that you said, Son, when you grow up you'll be fine We're done, no purchases made, but that's the thing when you're buying restored old antique stuff, especially furniture, you gotta have patience. These things take time. We're not gonna find them like that. So for that perfect piece of furniture, we're still waiting. <laughs> we're still looking. We've just pulled in a place called Delamere Farm Shop. It's actually, Delamere Forest isn't far from here, so we thought we'd have a quick 30 minute off lead walk for Barney at Delamere Forest but en route we've just passed this pumpkin, pick your own pumpkins. So spontaneously we might go and have a look. I have seen a sign that says no dogs in the actual picking the pumpkin bit but let's maybe go to the bit where they're pre-picked in the hay bales, see what they've got. You don't want to go and get, you don't want to well we can always go to there, let Barney have a stretch and then we can always put him back in the car and just go to that field there and see what they've got for pick your own. Is this in replace of our under two Delamere? We'll see how quick we can get it done. Because you've got to get back to the gym. PT. You could cancel your PT or move it. I already did that on Friday. Oh. And what was your excuse on Friday? Coming back from a funeral. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a good enough excuse. <laughs> One way to make me feel bad, I was going to say. And you're going to pick that over your own family. <laughs> I'll let you off. Anyway, come on, let's go have a look at some pumpkins. Is it a pumpkin? Can you sit? Can you sit for a photo? He's like, I want to get on there. You can sit on there. Good boy. Right, you stay there. Look how cute the little baby ones are. Oh, spider on that one. <laughs> little babies. And then they've got the ghost ones. They've got the gourds, are they called? These ones. 
but I'm thinking I might get a couple of little white ones, although I don't want them this shape. I want like a, you know, like a, a proper pumpkin shape that I can maybe do some, yeah, this sort of shape. That, how much are they? £1.58. That I could clean them off and do a little, there's another spider in there. Ooh. Um, little artwork session, maybe a little paint some little spiders on them. Rather than pumpkin carving this year, I'm thinking pumpkin artwork. We're back after a lovely lunch trip out this morning. I say this morning, it's already now three o'clock. Tom has just headed off to the gym for his PT session. So when he gets back, we'll make a start on the soup of which we have our pumpkin. He's set over there waiting to be carved. And then, um, yeah, we've got our little trio of white pumpkins by the front door, I'll show you actually, but I'm definitely in need of giving them a good scrub. What are you playing with? He's got his new pumpkin toy. Um, yeah, they need a scrub. And I'm thinking of painting them at some point, maybe with little spiders in or something. Maybe my next vlog. But for now, to go with our pumpkin wreath on the front door, We've got our little trio of pumpkins there. Pumpkin mat, which is very filthy, but yeah, we need to give this porch a good scrub. Give the pumpkins a good scrub too. Come on back inside. Oh, your pumpkin. Yeah, your little pumpkin toy. We'll take it back inside. <laughs> yeah, we'll give them a good scrub at some point, but for now, I just thought I'd plonk them there where they belong. Daddy, Mummy and Barney pumpkins, hey. Um, but yeah, we are back and I thought I would just do a little farm shop haul of everything that I picked up. So this is our bag of goodies. We did pop into the gift shop first and foremost and got Barney a couple of snacks. Had these before and he seemed to really like them. They're the Dentals toffee apple soft sticks, apple pumpkin and cinnamon flavored. And then he's not had these before, but just little dog treats. Spooktacular bones, turkey, pumpkin and apple. So in the gift shop, I did pick up, or we picked up two books. The one that I showed you in the vlog, Tom actually picked up and said he liked. So I said, well, just a little stocking filler gift idea. Um, and yeah, I decided to pick it up. So we've got this one, firstly, the Food from the fire, I love the aesthetic of it first and foremost. Scandinavian flavors of open fire cooking. Cause our intention is to get an open fire in the garden. What was that I just saw? It wasn't this, but look at that. Apple pizza. Oh, I'm definitely trying that when we get the pizza oven next open. Okay, what did I see? Oh, little pancakes. That look, donuts with ember baked apples and maple syrup. There's even leaves in the pan. Proper rustic vibes, but I love it. Okay, so there's like loads of, okay, yeah, split into like, there's the dessert section that I was looking at. <sighs> Sounds so good. So delicious. I'm actually excited to have a flick through that book. And then the other book that I got is like a kind of crafty book, but again, a seasonal book to pop out for autumn and winter, even just for decoration, because it is called uh, Winter Celebrations. And it's a modern guide to a handmade Christmas, especially for those of you that are crafty and like to do like DIY gifts and things like that. There are actual templates in here as well. So there's all sorts of like crafty things that you can do for Christmas and for decorating and for gift giving. And then we went to the farm shop. We picked up our pumpkin, which we're gonna have, I think it was £2.50 or something, so not too bad. And then we got, Tom picked up these, said for a cheese board, these handmade flatbreads. They had loads of flavors, but we got the rosemary one. And then we got Mr. Barney Boo a toy because, gosh, he's so spoiled. 8.99 but this he has one like this and it's one of his favorite toys to chew on and it's got a bottle inside which i know he's gonna love i'm gonna give it to him at the end so that you don't hear it in the background you can have that in a minute yes that's for you uh we've got our sourdough for our toast toasties that we're gonna do today we're gonna also pop some chorizo on the top we like to like dice it cube it and just fry it up and sprinkle it on top as like a bit of a garnish on our pumpkin soup 
And then, oh, he did get, I wasn't sure if he picked one of these up or not. The 70% Harry's Company hot chocolate, the dark one. And then last but not least, Christmassy. Ultimate Christmas plum pudding, which we thought we could uh, have, we can save this for Christmas. We're not going to eat this before then because we don't eat Christmas pudding, but because we're hosting, our parents will enjoy this, I'm sure. They are Christmas pudding lovers. We could get like a little Christmas cake as well, but neither neither of them Tom and I like. I feel like, is it a generational thing? I don't know. Are you waiting for your toy? Okay, one minute. Um, yeah, we're not like Christmas dessert lovers. I do like a Yule log though. Okay, you can take it. What is it? Watch him run to his bed or something. Why do they do that? It's so funny, isn't it? Yeah, I feel a bit bad that he's not had a good explore. So I think whilst Tom's at the gym, we're going to go for a nice. I would have gone to Delamere Forest, which was near where we were, but it's a shame, really. But <sighs> he's enjoying it. But um, that we had to come back for Tom's gym appointment, but it's fine. We'll head out. I'll get my proper walking boots on. We can go for a nice stretch of the legs for like half an hour, an hour or so, and then we can come back and then we can just chill for the rest of the day considering we then won't need to go back out. Although it's been such a lovely day today. It was meant to be overcast all day and it turns out that the sun has been shining and it's been freezing, which is just my perfect weather. God, every time I talk about weather, I edit the, these videos back and think, God, just such a British thing to do, isn't it? But anyway, we are gonna go enjoy the beautiful weather. We were listening to a podcast on route back, the always listen to the Diary of CEO, I love it. And there was a guest that he had on called, I think she's called Dr. Tara. And she, um, so clever, honestly, some of the people that he interviews are just, the way they articulate and string a sentence together, I just, I'm in awe of. I feel like the start of the show behind me is just taking over. But anyway, really worth listening to if you haven't already. I just find them so interesting. And my favorite part of every podcast is at the very end when he has his closing tradition that he asks them a question that the previous guest has left, not knowing who they're leaving it for. Um, so yeah, I love that part as well. I'm sweet at home and honestly guys I'm actually really ready to just have a shower get into some comfies not that what I'm wearing isn't comfortable but you know when you've just been out and about all day we've been at a farm we've been pumpkin picking been on a dog walk I'm ready to get showered into some fresh comfies and I sort of opened my wardrobe to get some out and then I thought oh yeah I was going to take out some summer bits so I'm going to do that first then shower, get into some comfies, and I thought I'd just pop you on a little bit of a mini time lapse because there's not that much to get rid of, if I'm being completely honest with you. It's just a few bits within this wardrobe. Like this whole top section at the minute is currently dresses and shirts. So yeah, there's a few summery things in here that I'm definitely not gonna wear that I might as well make, make a bit of room for some extra cozy knits. <laughs> this is looking much better plenty of room to fit loads more bits in but um for now i've just got a few like t-shirt dresses knit dresses shirt dresses occasion wear which is usually all within these bags a couple of shirts at the end and that is 
everything on that top row now. So definitely more room to have a little more autumn winter knitwear. I've also got loads of spare hangers now, which is always great when you do a bit of a clear out. To be honest with you, I say clear out, I probably could do with clearing some of these bits out. These are not just summer things, but I've kept kind of like spring items in here as well because I do feel like we end up having a pretty long winter and it doesn't usually get warm until about March, April time, does it? So we've got a good few months of not needing any of those bits. So I'm gonna pop those away in storage just to pop them in a bag under the bed or something. And then I've got a couple of bits to give to charity, but yeah, I could do with a proper clear out to be honest with you. Maybe I'll do that like in the new year, like a full spring clean in January, even though it's winter, but you know, I actually really love January for that. And I'm like thinking ahead here, but after Christmas, you know, when you've had all of the autumn bits out, then you've got all of the Christmassy bits out. It's quite nice to just have a clean slate and put it all away, start afresh, have a massive clear out. So we definitely need that in our storage room. I've started doing lots of bits, but there's definitely more that I could, once the seasonal decor bits are away, I can actually donate a load and just have more space to work with down in that storage room. But for now, we're not there yet. I'm still very much in the buying the faff for Christmas. And even for autumn, still a few last few bits um, that I've been buying and yeah, enjoying. Especially like now, it's basically Halloween's approaching. Um, but yeah, for now, that is going to complete my little mini summer wardrobe clear out switchover. And I haven't actually got any like autumn bits to put away because I've got everything out already and it's already in my filming room wardrobe. So hopefully soon, I'm thinking about doing a full wardrobe reset organized that's gonna go because that's a bit of an eyesore in this room um and have a full wall-to-wall -wall set of inbuilt wardrobes in that filming room but it's gonna become more less of a filming room more of like a dressing room wardrobe room type thing but anyway for now i'm gonna get showered get into my comfies get the candles lit and start winding down for the evening i've just seen that tom's just got back home as well so i'm sure he will make a start on the pumpkin soup as well never been more ready for my dinner seeing as though all i've had today is sausage roll a couple of chocolates hot chocolate coffee and that's about it but um yeah we were just about to tuck into our dinner our homemade pumpkin soup taste test of the soup hop mm. Mm, really good delish anyway we're gonna tuck in with our to our dinner we're gonna carry on watching harry potter we've got the first one on we've decided to compromise because tom's not really a harry potter person i know but i'm not a star wars person so with disney that we've got and then all the harry potters on netflix we're saying like in the lead up to christmas and whatever whenever we get a chance maybe every weekend we'll watch one star wars and one harry potter that's the compromise we had star wars last night so it's Harry Potter the Philosopher's Stone tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna end off today's video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed spending a very wholesome October day with us. I've had I've had a really lovely Sunday Monday today. Yeah, no, I've had a lovely day. 
really nice. But yeah, thank you so much to each and every one of you for watching. And I hope to see you all very soon in my next video. Bye guys.